Welcome back to the channel, Ajayden Chase. And if you're new, remember to like, to share, and also to subscribe. Now, this has to be the worst news Jamaican taxpayers have heard regarding the SSL fraud scandal. The finance minister is now telling Jamaican taxpayers that they will have to pay $14 million worth of new taxes to help out Stocks and Securities Limited. Understand? This company SSL belongs to the government undercover. You yeah, understand? And remember, so they invest housing trust money. Housing trust money never did for touch that the company none at all. Fee money did in then take time and dry out. So insane dry it out. You yeah, understand? And all of these people money. And all of these people money and make up the apartment. Them all over the place did for invest and turn over. And before somebody in the squeal and tell Bolt to check up on the money, and the Bolt never check up on the money, them wouldn't know that. So it's like the a whole thing get busted before they get to put back the money. And when they invest the money now, I feed them money that all of what they invest in, and they more take time pay it back, and the rest, whatever left over, I would have feed them money. Who do not realize that? What make you think government are coming and know about them are boy allowed? Because the people are going to bust out what go on in there. The was made while assuring the remaining employees of the firm that the government would take over the payment of their salaries. What really take place? Is the government now spending taxpayers' money and things not based in the country's best interest? and publicly telling the people with all of the place they must still not have proper roads street lights and running water you have to tell me say 14 million dollars out of taxpayers money will be going to keeping an investment company afloat and every jamaican is not an investor in this company and both still not get back fee money None of the other investors have gotten about their money. No wonder the Prime Minister say he's not thinking about an election. And the rumors regarding an early election are clearly false. The state is telling Jamaican taxpayers that they're not going to use their money to help out a company, an investment company. Not JPS, not Water Commission. Not a utilities company. We are directly provide a service for Jamaican citizens. For the JPS, it's a look away, but at least they provide a service for the Jamaican people and a whole. For the Water Commission, if the Water Commission said they make billions of dollars in a profit since here, but if it was them, it wouldn't look good. But at least. These two companies are utility companies that provide a direct service to Jamaica. If I even the bus company, they may carry Jamaican workers to and from. They may provide a service to the Jamaican people. An investment company is a niche business. Only the very wealthy make enough money to go invest in the stocks. Schools to start. And teachers are leave the teaching field in Jamaica because of wages. And the minister go tell we say yo, a SSL. Some of the tax money I go to no sir. This one like an insult to the intelligence of the people. Now, in addition to the salary bailout for SSL employees, taxpayers are also being called on to fund the firm's operating expenses and legal fees. This government wants taxpayers to help build out the company where employees' wages are concerned. The people would agree to that. These people are Jamaican citizens too. And if the government can help them with their wages, so be it. Keep in mind, every dollar where the government is supposed to have in any government account comes from money borrowed and taxpayer money. Fine though. But them also I say, 
Jamaicans for help out with the firm's operating expenses and legal fees? This could make sense. The bill, at minimum, will cost North, not South, North of 14 million monthly. Could be more. That's why them said not of 14 million. Anyway, from this, I go up them and look pan. Monthly, though. For how long? It is unknown. So, for the foreseeable future, $14 million worth of taxes will be going towards SSL. Just being pumped into the company. Taxpayer money. When keep in mind, you name a roadway different from a major highway. I will attack one of the pay to use highways. Where the road no one maintain. The road no one take you, the road no one scrape up and pave over. Name the places. Would you believe? The sidewalk the most. The dirt sidewalk the most. If you look upon the layout for the city, these should be paved the sidewalks. The country they even don't make sidewalk it in the country. The drains are poorly maintained. We don't have enough garbage truck for collect garbage. I would also point out some things about the infrastructure of the country. We always like to talk about investment and yo, foreign investors don't want to come invest because of um, violence and because of this. No. Foreign investors invest in countries where it's more violent than Jamaica, 10 times as violent as Jamaica. You know what turn off investors? The high cost of electricity. The unreliable water services being provided. The roads where the people can kind for of use properly because these roads are not maintained. These are the type of things we are turning to investors. When they look up much upon the duty for import things on the island through the wharf, these are the things we are turning away investors. And them tell you these things to a face just like what them tell we said they're going to take 15, 14 million dollars monthly from taxpayers' dollars. Them tell we all the while. The government statement from contraband we are coming on the island. Point, paint a picture. Say it is easier for illegal contraband to enter the island than legal goods. The reason why agriculture can be as efficient as we'd want it to be. Because the man them can't import in the equipment to become efficient. The only thing can't have fertilizer. You steady supply of that. As we are talking about machinery and technological advances needed to improve the output of produce on the island, the government don't want to talk about that. The government don't want to talk about it hard for a citizen to import in a motor vehicle, no matter how good the prices and line them can enter from overseas. Once you reach a wharf, everything changes. While at the same time, the state is saying they don't want cars of a certain age to just be imported into the island. No, they must stop talking to the people themselves. No, sir. An election can't depend on the Prime Minister, man. It's not possible. The state could not think about re-election right now while they must do what they must do. We have never seen that happen. Normally, when a party is seeking re-election, they normally depend on the best behavior in the eyes of the public. The finance minister come out come tell the people them say 14 million dollars worth of taxes that go towards a company where don't provide an actual service for the country. It's outrageous. It's that never happen if the, if the party has seek re-election. Even if he may come to the Prime Minister with that, while the Prime Minister has seek re-election, if I tell him say, Oi, don't you ever say that again. Not while he's the president of the party and his party is seeking re-election. He may say, Don't you dare say things like that to taxpayers. I will say a niche business. May I point out this? The finance minister, Dr. Clark, and his office has pointed out that the fraud scandal at SSL has grown to more than four billion. Four billion. And 70 customers are now known to have had their accounts tampered with. 70 customers. 
4 billion. Combine these 70 people who invest in their company, invest 4 billion dollars in their company. Just 70 people alone. Only the very wealthy seem to have had invested in SSL. Is that why the government is adamant and bailing out this specific company? Talk to me in the comment section if you're new to the channel to pass through. Or click the subscribe icon, then the bell icon. And of course, put it on a heart. And this is how you know will be notified of all fresh content. As soon as fresh content is uploaded and made available for you right here on the platform, the like icon is also in close proximity to the share icon. Drop a like and boss a share. Tell a friend for tell a friend for tell them sister and them brother them for check out the channel, check out the reason, and also join the discussion in the comment section of me 24-7. It never lock yet. Just be respectful and mindful of the guidelines. But other than that, drop your thoughts in the comments and yes, your opinions there. We can continue the reason via the comment section. Now until the reason again, my sentiments for you and yours. I'm gonna live love and prosper. I'm gonna stay tuned.